think I need to rebuild the whole core XY unit, but so far this thing works okay. So I'm now trying like 99 times 99 times mesh with this speed. It's so astonishing. Like I cannot do like 99 times 99 like probing <laughs> with CR touch or like VL touch. It's gonna be like a mess. Oh, but as you can see, it's wiggling, you know. So this definitely need a uh, rebuild <laughs> and I also I'll like try not to use this white belt because this white belt is so stiff uh, like as you can see it's like a it's not a, like aligned properly with the puri because the tension is not enough but if I give like enough tension for this belt then it will like bend more my uh, like core xy structure so anyways uh, what's gonna be the best option to like swap this xy unit so what i'm thinking is some sort of like fancer or like brutal stuff like arm like mod but I guess it's not an official one but hmm I'm kind of tempting or I will just reprint the ABS parts and uh, I'm not sure like how flat this carbon tube is so I may use like normal aluminum pro profile instead of this one or if anyone wants to sponsor me, that would be great. For example, Fisec. Because because Fisec has a Rakita bed module, right? That would be super nice. Since I don't make money at all with this machine, it's like I just built it for fun for myself. Like this Endo 5 Plus was originally uh, given by. Uh, Reality for review, like, like right after I play started playing around with Industry Pro, I think, yeah. And since then, I tried some mods. Like, the initial one I tried is just a, a, the Micro Swift, like, direct extruder drive unit, like, the whole module was arm down plate. And after that, I went with a like linear rail but still like h bot structure and then after that i noticed that there is some cool cool mods project and i saw the zero g or the mercury and at the first like i don't know which one is for which but now i know the zero g itself is like a project name and the mercury is the, the score xy structure so yeah and i think the mercury Built itself is super easy, but just have to have a proper parts. Thing is, I think this bending issue is coming from this CF tube, cause I was so lazy about uh, like when I, when I building this one, and I'm not sure you can notice, but. This one is not fixed by screw or something. I just inserted like a press fit in, into both uh, country unit. So yeah, I may try to buy uh, like a num tube for this one and swap it and also the reprint this both size and the use gates belt and see if this like wiggling bending issue will be solved i think this hurts a lot the linear rails yeah but i don't i don't care it's it's just for my fun <laughs> but at least this thing prints even still yeah for xy structure is good 
So it's about to finish the 99 times 99 machine. It's about right right now like half, five and a half minutes. I'm not sure how long does it take. Okay, now it's finished. So it's like right now like 5:40 something. Okay, so I was just gonna save it. So yeah, that's my testing. And so far it works okay. But just don't forget the initial rack adjustment. I forgot to do that and my creeper goes a little bit wrong. I don't know what just happened, but after after several rebooting it just fixed. But make sure to uh do like initial adjustment. I think the error is not from this module. I think it's just I'm lazy to update things, so maybe maybe just happened. I don't know. So maybe the next thing I will check is uh, heat up this plate to 100 Celsius and see like if it works properly or not. Because because some people are mentioning is that this module may have a like summer drift or something. Because this also is like RP2040. So yeah. Let's see. And if you wanna know the result or this or if you like this shitty video then just subscribe, share and leave some like comments like what's your thoughts about this or like you want this like more variations from other vendors and so on. That's kinda of stuff. Bye!